what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The Pittsburgh Steelers defensive back Justin Lane was arrested on Friday, and he's given the police all the evidence they need to convict. The 23-year-old who was a Steelers third round pick in 2019 was pulled over after cops say he was doing 89 in a 60 zone in his 2020 Dodge Charger. During the stop, officers put him in the back of a patrol car while they searched his ride. And that's when Lane got on his phone with some of his friends to talk them through his situation. While on the line, this dude can be heard telling a friend, I'm nervous as fuck, bro. They about to get me. He continued, they might get me for the pistol, bro. He later told, <laughs> he later told his friend that he had a blood in the car. Cops say they eventually found weed residue, a grinder, and a loaded Glock 9mm pistol during the search of his car and released photos of the findings to TMZ Sports. <laughs> Ultimately, he was arrested and booked on felony charges of improper handling of a firearm and a motor vehicle. What's interesting is, twice during the stop, he mentioned that he played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers, for their part, says that they're investigating the situation. Man, let me explain something to you. If ever you are accosted by the police, especially if you are in custody, you must assume that you are being watched and recorded. Whether you're in that police car, whether you're standing outside talking to them, if they're around, more than likely, some type of recording device exists. And it's gonna be all bad for you because they never use your words to help you. They always use them against you. For instance, let's say he was in the inside of the car and he was saying some things like, Man, you know, I've never been in trouble before and, you know, I don't know why they stopped me. I was driving at the right speed. You know, uh, I don't have any drugs. I don't have any weapons. I don't know why they would stop me. I don't know why they're bothering me. They wouldn't play that. They wouldn't let you hear that. Because that don't help them. They're only going to play back the things that can damage you. Like they wouldn't play that back in, in the courtroom. You know, the prosecutor, they wouldn't play that. They only, only play things that are damaging. So this dude self snitched. The case is over. The only thing that he could possibly have is some type of technicality. And these days, they don't even go by the book with technicalities, man. I mean, you got to fight a technicality. It used to be at one point, you know, if, you, if your lawyer was savvy enough to introduce a technicality, the judge would respect it, and then boom, case dismissed, it's closed, boom, whatever. Now nah, it's like they got every excuse in the book to twist the law and shape it so that they can get their convictions. And somehow, some way, they still hold police officers in high regard, even with all of the murderous cops out there, the thieving cops, the raping cops, the drug addicts, even with case after case after case. And we're talking a plethora of police officers engaging in criminal activity just doing all kinds of uncivilized stuff. 
when you walk into the courtroom, it's like they want you to just miraculously forget all of that. Like, all right, okay, now we're in the courtroom. That's a cop. His history doesn't matter. His past record doesn't matter. Only yours matter. Only anything that you've done in the past bad matters. Whatever the cop's done doesn't matter. He's a police officer. He is to be respected, even though he disrespects everything. He has no self-respect. He is an uncivilized mutt, but he is to be believed because he is a police officer. I don't want to talk like this, fam, but I got to speak the truth. The truth don't care who tell it. I got to tell it, fam. I got to say what it is. I got to call a spade a spade. If everybody else who cut up can be held accountable. For instance, if we see a youngster out there acting bad, doing stupid stuff, we're going to call it out. We don't even think about it. We call it, everybody call it out. It's free game. You do anything, you, you out there, you do something stupid, you free game. Even a rapper do something stupid, free game. Any kind of celebrity, free game. Regular person, free game. But the police, we got to walk on eggshells. Well, you know, you know, well, we're not all officers. We got to always preface it with not all officers. We got to walk around on eggshells and make sure we don't hurt anybody's feelings and all of that kind of stuff. Not me. You get what you get. I'm going to give them the same energy they give me until they earn the respect of the people that gets none. No more talk. What the haters talking about?